Hi, Ronies. This is your pal, Rony K95 here. Today on my anime update, we're going to do some anime OVAs on my anime update. I, I picked 19 out. That's why. But before we get into the OVAs, I know a lot of you comment about my previous anime update video on the Media Blasters release. I know Huntick is Death is not an anime, but it's actually an Italian animated series. Uh, you know, it's in my anime collection right next to Helsing. But just kept my intelligence level high on Anime Collector, because it says anime works on it. Before we get into my anime OVAs, here's my thoughts about the DVD Kite. I know a lot of you commented saying it's like a it's definitely like an unedited hentai. Just like Yuritsuki Doji, Legend of the Overfiend, along with its sequel, Legend of the Demon Womb. That's the reason. The uncut version of Kite, you know, the, the one that I showed you in the Mo Media Blasters update one, is under the Kitty Media, which is the uh, division of adult anime, where it shows the movie version of Yuritsuki Doji, Legend of the Overfiend. But for the uncut version, and original Japanese version, has English subtitles. Along with its sequel, Legend of the Demon Womb was available on VHS, Laserdisc, and DVD, which is probably out of print, and it costs a penny on license these days. Any, anywho, let's get let's jump right into my OVAs. I looked in my anime collection. I have 19 anime OVAs. So I had to pick 19 out of them. Okay, let's start off with this one. The first one I start off with is the Animatrix. This is this is the one that you've seen in my previous anime updates before. Like the new pickups on. I'd probably put the link in the description down below if you want to check it out. I know this is basically an OVA because it has a collection of... It's a collection of OVA shorts, that's why. Some of them were like Japanese traditionally animated, and there's some that are CGI, Japanese CGI, that's why. <coughs> Excuse me. And this was released by Warner Home Video, the only anime released by Warner Home Video. Oh, and it's from the creators of the Matrix trilogy. It's made by the same company, anime studio company, that also did Tech on Kincrete. Yes, it's an OVA, as you can see. I should have gotten, when I first got this, I go, what? No patch? No free patch as a bonus? But you'll find another copy of the Animatrix out there. Oh, the Animatrix is also available on Blu-ray, I believe. It's from the same creators of the Matrix trilogy. The next one I have is the Vadacity. That's like an, a three-episode OVA, if you can see. This DVD came out in 2000. This is probably the early 2000s release from Media Blasters, and it suggested 16 and up as well, and it's sci-fi, that's the reason. There's only like three, ep oh yes, it is a three episode OVA, and it did came with this that I like, because it has the artwork from Magic Knight Rare Earth and Roni Kenshin on the re reply there, where you place your stamp here on there, because this is a three episode OVA of D D Vidacity. This is the first time I got a three-episode OVA. That's why. And the next one I have is Earthian. This is actually like all four episodes. If you could set this like this on the side, it's like this is like a Yaoi anime. That's why. When I mean Yaoi, as in Y A O I, this anime especially, which is Earthian. I should. Back then, it was on VHS. It's only like one episode per volume on VHS. But, but however, the DVD has only like all four episodes, basically. It's got a preview for other anime, like Ninja Cadets, Legend of the Last Labyrinth, Shinesman. I need to get those three. I want to get Magic Knight Ray Earth DVD Memorial Box, because that's what I, I, I need to get Magic Knight Ray Earth. And here's Kite, the, no, the one the DVD I showed you before I, in, this, in the previous anime update on the Media Blasters release. Anyways, this is Earthian. Huh. 
It's a four-episode yaoi anime. Next I have is Fushigi Yugi, the mysterious play Ikoden. If you ever watched anime on, in the 90s, you probably want to know Fushi. If you ever loved anime, 90s anime, like the original Fushigi Yugi series, you probably want to know Ikoden. This comes with a 32-page, 23-page booklet or something like that. Yeah. If you haven't watched any previous anime update video, I'll probably, uh, where I showed you this, as well as the previous anime update video with on Jinion Pioneer Entertainment real, out of print releases, I'll probably put two of those video links in the description down below. You gotta love Fushigi Yugi. I love this release from... Whoa! Jinion Pioneer. <laughs> Good catch. I almost dropped it. Sorry. Next I have is MD Geist. This is a OVA double feature that has the director's cut on it and Death Force, which is this runs about 91 minutes because it's distributed exclusively at, by Image Entertainment, but it's a U.S. Manga Corp. release, which U.S. Manga Corp. from Central Park Media is out of business. Because I know this DVD, I paid, I got, this was like 13 bucks when I first got this a while back at Streetlight Records, I believe. And if you open this up, there's only like 22, chap 22 chapters on it because it's a double feature. And this is in a clear disc where you see it, because it has that old U.S. manga court releases, and the DVD packaging, it's probably from the old, one of those old snapper case DVDs, yes, oh, and I forgot, MD Geist, double feature, which is director's cut, that has the director's cut and Death Force, I know mediocre otaku has this in his anime collection, I have Katsuhiro Otomo's Memories, which is a collection of three OVA episode short films, because it does have interviews with Katsuhiro Otomo, Koji Morimoto, and Tensai Okamura for the pilot films for Magnetic Rose, Stink Bomb, and Cannon Fodder. And this was done by Destination Films, Bandai Visual, Kodansha, any anime company that did this. If you open this up, here's the character design and background artwork. Looks neat, huh? All the 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 the, the neat content on that one. You gotta love, cause it's a collection of. If you like Neo Tokyo or Robot Carnival or Short Piece, you probably want to check out Katsuhiro Otomo's Memories. Oh, Susan Napier explained about Magnetic Rose in her book, um, Anime from Akira to Howl's Moving Castle, because I read the book, you know? Oh, Katsuhiro Otomo also did Akira, Steam Boy, and Rajin Z. Forgot about these ones. And next I have mobile four volumes of the Gundam OVAs. I have Mobile Suit Gundam 0083 Stardust Memory, because this has like four episodes on volume one. And it has textless opening and endings, number one, and the Mobile Suit Encyclopedia. And, it's, and it has also a special reversible cover, which is neat. This is probably one of Bondi Entertainment's original releases. They're like the redundant, that's why. And I have another, Volume 2 of Mobile Suit Gundam 0083, Stardust to Memory, Volume 2. And it has three episodes on there, which is Episode 5, 6, and 7. And it has... The Mayfly of Space animation short, which I haven't seen, but I'll probably soon. And I have Mobile Suit Gundam, 0083, Stardust Memory Volume 3. It has a special reversible cover, same content on it, three episodes, which is episode 9, 8 through 10. Three episodes, huh, that's not bad. And three episodes, which is episode 11 and 12, 13, on the final volume, which is volume 4 of Mobile Suit Gundam, 0083, Stardust Memory. I believe. And, yeah. And the next one I have is Mobile Suit Gundam D Wing Endless Waltz, the definitive edition, which has diff both versions, both the movie and the three-episode OVA. But I can do this on the anime movies on DVD, update on my anime update soon, so stay tuned for that. But right now, we're, this is the OVA. Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Endless Waltz DVD did have a three-part episode OVA of Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. 
because you know it's in the cat the anime categories under movies, specials, TV and o TV shows and OVAs, I believe. And, oh, and animation shorts, I believe. Wow. And I have New Fist of the North Star. This is actually the complete version on OVA. I got this. If you haven't watched, I or I got this on Wal Barnes and Noble online. You know, during Christmas time, and it, it's a late Christmas present, I believe. So, if you haven't watched my unboxing video where I have show you this, I'll probably uh, just New Fist of the North Star DVD. I'll probably put the link in the description down below if you want to check that out. I know it's a it's actually like follows up to the manga, which is very true to the manga, and it's a spin off of the original Fist of the North Star series. And I have two volumes of Oh My Goddess, which is volume one, that has, like, I believe, like, f three episodes, which is Moonlight and Cherry Blossoms, Midnight Summer's, Midsummer's Night Dream, and Burying Hearts on the Road. There's only three episodes. I got This is, like, six bucks when I got it at Recycled Bookstore. And this one that I got for one ninety five at a music store, which only has the last two episodes, which is Evergreen, Holy Night, and For the Love of Goddess, which is... These two are the original releases from Anime Ego. Pretty cool, huh? And the next I have is Outlanders, my all-time favorite OVA from the 80s. If you ever watched anime on VHS and Laserdisc in the 90s, you probably want to know Outlanders. This is U.S. Manga Corp. release on DVD. However, for the VHS, it has the... It's basically from Dark Image Entertainment on it. This was like $36 when I spent $396 on Amazon. Because I finally get to pick this one up because it's hard to get nowadays. It's out of print, though. And I have Robot Carnival, a collection of nine OVA episodes of Robot Carnival. This has a, a new essay summary about the Robot Carnival by Anime News Network's Mike Tool. It has the original trailer, which has the English stuff from Streamline Pictures, and it has the original Japanese language version with English subtitles on it. I got this on Amazon back, like, two years back. Same with Outlanders. I got this on Amazon a year back in 2017. And I have New Kyoto Arc Roni Kenshin DVD, by far. I don't want to spoil it because I'm running out of time, that's why. But you gotta love this. This was like $14. I have Samurai Hunt for the Sword. This is actually an OVA. When I first, I thought it was actually a TV show, but not an o, a movie. Or, but it's actually a two-episode OVA. Pretty cool, huh? And I have Space Pirate Captain Harlock, Herlock. This is Volume One from Genion Pioneers, out of print release, which is redundant. There's only four episodes on it. But yeah. So that's gonna be it for my anime update, you guys. So thanks for watching. But before we go, real quick. Because I have 19 anime up D OVAs on DVD for my anime collection. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You can share this video on both your Twitter and Facebook if you have either Twitter or Facebook account. Click on the subscribe button. Become a subscriber to RoniK95. Click the subs notifications button. Please subscribe to RoniK95 because I'm doing a new video, which I haven't done an anime update in a while because I did some reaction videos. And yeah. So like, subscribe, favorite, comment, share on your social media pages, and that's it. So click the subscribe button, become a subscriber to RoniK95, click on the notifications button, see what I upload on YouTube, and that's it. So keep it otaku for this anime update, because I haven't done an anime update video in a while, and that's it. This is RoniK95, I hope you enjoy this anime update, I hope you like it, hope see you for the next anime update, and sayonara.